Hi guys, it's Rob from Royal Balls. Today we're going to be going up to the uh, whiteboard again and looking at uh, some more projects of mine, a little more complicated than the first example that I showed. And we're going to be talking about uh, parallel projects, uh, stacking and staggering projects, as well as looking at some cool snakes that are involved in those projects. So let's go to the whiteboard. Okay guys, here we are, back at the whiteboard again. Um, what I've done is put the years on the sides of the whiteboard here to indicate the time scale and I've made an assumption that uh, hatchling snakes mature in two years. Um, obviously that varies, uh, some female snakes do make it in two years, uh, sometimes three, males uh, certainly within two years are mature but for the purposes of this uh, project schematic I've assumed two years for everything so you need to bear that in mind uh, you will need to make adjustments to your schedules as uh, snakes do or don't mature in time so the last project that we looked at was my Batman project and we saw in 2019 that uh, ARP constrictors bred a clown to a leopard to produce uh, leopard heads I bred a clown to a spot nose to produce spot nose heads and in two years time around 2021 they'll be ready to breed together and you see a uh, leopard head times spot nose head the goal is a batman and that is a milestone for me so in 2021 you'll see that i reach one of my milestones which is the batman today we are going to look at uh, some of my pied projects we've already seen that in 2018 i bred a normal to my pastel pied male, produced pastel het pied, uh, two females which I kept back. I'm making the assumption that the pastel het pieds will be ready to breed back to the male in 2020. So this is Clint, the pastel pied male that I'll be using for the majority of my pied projects you can see that he is a fairly low white example lovely pattern snake and he is quite nice and yellow uh, his offspring are also extremely yellow so this is Clint Clint Eastwood my pastel pied male that will be used for the bulk of my pied projects. This is one of his daughters produced last year. This is a uh, pastel 100% het for pied female. I have two of these and they're uh, now over a year old so uh, this time next year at the start of next year's breeding season hopefully they'll be ready to, uh, to breed and we can try for killer pieds. So that's one of the females that I held back. And this is her sister, almost identical. So I have two pastel hetfapide females, hopefully ready next breeding season to give me killer pides. So in 2020, the pastel hetfapide females will be ready to breed back to the same pastel pied male. And that will give me one of my other goals, which is the killer pied or the super pastel pied visuals. So in 2020, I reach this goal. We already saw the Batman in 2021. Uh, so you can see here 2020 killer pieds, 2021 the Batman. And this year, I'm breeding the same pastel pied male to an ivory female that will produce yellow belly het pieds. Um, this girl here is my leopard ivory who has also been bred to Clint this year. Um, all her offspring should be yellow belly, 100% het for pied. Uh, so this is the first stage in my pumpkin pride project so this is the leopard ivory 
or silky way that I'm using again with the pastel pied male. Okay, so this year I'm attempting to produce yellow belly het pies. I am also going to be breeding the pastel pied male to a straight visual pied female. And this big girl here, if I can get her all on camera, is my pied female. Uh, she has been bowl hugging. Um, she's been bred already to the uh, pastel pied male and locked up. Uh, looks like she's going into shed. She's put on a lot of weight. Hopefully she'll give us a clutch of eggs uh, early next year, which will give us pastel pieds and visual pieds to add to my pied collection. I'll probably hold back a couple of females if we get a nice clutch from her. So this is my pied female. And that will produce another goal for me, which are visual pieds. I should get pastel pieds and I should get visual pieds. And my goal there is to increase the number of pieds in my collection for future breeding. Okay, so 2019, 2019 I get more visual pieds, 2020 I get killer pieds, 2021 I get Batmans. You can also see that the pastel pied male that I used appears in 2018, he appears in 2019 and he appears in 2020. So that pastel pied male is going to be busy for the next few years on this project schedule. 2021, I should have yellow belly head pipes ready to breed to my visual pipes. So 2021, I should have yellow belly head pied females ready to breed to either a visual pied that I produced in 2019 or to the same pastel pied male that I've been using throughout this project. So he appears yet again in 2021. This pairing gives me pumpkin pies, another one of my milestone goals. So you can see on this project plan that starting in 2018 I produced my pastel het pies. In 2019 I'm going to be breeding more visual pies. In 2020 I'll be producing my super pastel pies and in 2021 I'll be producing pumpkin pieds along with my Batman goal in this parallel clown project. So you can see right here that I am staggering my project goals, staggering my projects and staggering the use of the pastel pied male through successive years. At some stage during the course of these projects I want to add Orange Dream to my pied projects. So let's assume that in 2020 I can also pair my pastel pied male to an orange dream and produce orange dream het pieds, which will be ready for breeding in 2022. So by 2022, I've got yellow belly het pieds, I've got orange dream het pieds, I can mix the two and produce yellow belly orange dream pieds, which is another milestone. So at this point in the video, I'm going to show you two snakes. I'm not going to tell you what they are, uh, but they slot into my project scope quite nicely. So the yellow belly head pines that we used originally in 2021 would be used again in 2022 when the orange dream head pines are ready with a goal of yellow belly orange dream pies. So you can see that we're reaching milestones in every successive year by staggering our projects. Here we've got the Orange Dream, here we've got the Yellow Bay, here we've got Visual Pieds, and here we've got Pastel Pieds. So those are all parallel projects that all come together at the end. This year I'm also going to be breeding my Het Lavenders uh, to produce uh, Visual Lavenders. Het Lavender to Het Lavender to produce Visual Lavenders, which is another milestone goal here at Royal Bowls. The other project on the whiteboard was the uh, Visual 
lavenders to be produced this year. This is my pastel 100% head for lavender female. I have two of these. Lovely and bright a yellow orange colour, nice and clean. Uh, that's probably the influence of the Het Lavender. Um, two of these girls, and they are in excess of two years old. Um, the male has been put to them uh, several times already this season, but um, I haven't witnessed a lock yet. So this is one of the females. And this is the second. Pastel 100% Het for Lavender Females. This is her sister. And you can see again that she's lovely and bright and clean. The male's also been put to her, but uh, no visual locks so far. So that's the second of my Het Lavenders. The male for those two females is this Firefly or Pastel Fire. 100% het for lavender male. Very active. But he is a lovely clean example of a firefly. Okay so now you see the benefit of staggering even more. I have 2019 visual lavenders, 2019 visual pines, 2020 killer pines, 2021 Pumpkin Pied, 2022 Yellowberry Orange Dream Pied. The next step, and why I put the lavender here, is because another one of my goals is Dreamsicle, which is the Lavender Pied. Double recessive, so in two years time, in 2021, I can take my visual lavenders, and I can take the same pastel pied male or a visual pied that I produced in 2019 and I can bring him across into this project and you'll notice this is the same pastel pied male that I'm using for the rest of the project appearing again over here, again, uh, we've talked about the importance of having a powerhouse male, but you'll see how each of these projects all hinge upon that pastel pied male. He is a proven breeder, he's good to go, um, we need to get him working. So in 2021, I'll have my, my Het Dreamsicles. which will be ready to breed back to each other in 2023. So in 2023, breeding the hex back to each other, I should produce another goal for Royal Balls, which is the Dreamsicle. Um, so if we look at these projects here, you can see you can see how the male and the projects that he is involved in have been staggered in time. You can see how the various projects, the uh, killer pied, the pieds, the pumpkin pieds and the uh, yellow belly orange dream pied have been stacked one on top of the other so that I'm achieving goals every single year. 2019, I get a milestone lavender, visual lavender. 2019, I get a milestone visual pied. 2020, I get a milestone visual killer pied or super pastel pied. 2021, I get a visual yellow belly pied or pumpkin pied along with my Batman from this parallel project over here. In 2022, I'm achieving the yellow belly orange dream pied visuals and in 2023 I'm achieving the dreamsicle uh, visual lavender pied. So this project here, the clown project that we looked at in the last video, 
is a parallel project and does not affect the other projects. Uh, but you can see how these projects here are actually interrelated. So we've stacked them. And we've staggered them. And that way I can achieve goals every single year. 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023. So you can see the progression of projects there. And that's what we mean by parallel projects, stacking projects, and staggering projects. Okay guys, um, a little bit more complicated than my first projects video, but um, I hope you can see how by uh, staggering and stacking projects you can actually uh, achieve significant milestones or goals that you've set yourself in successive years so that you always have something to look forward to. Obviously your breeding plans change depending upon the success or failure of a particular year, whether you get the genetic combinations that you need or whether you don't. Um, plans can always be modified and changed um, so that's the beauty of having the uh, the whiteboard and being able to visualize in your mind uh, where you want your projects to go so I hope you enjoyed that I hope you enjoyed looking at some of the snakes that are involved and we'll see you next time